property taxes. And Prop 19 passed recently and it had a couple of prongs to it. And I'm only going to talk about this if you promise me that if you have questions, you call me, I'm going to tell you to talk to either an accountant uh, or an attorney about the implications of this. But in general, Prop 19, you get to move your tax base to other counties. Okay, I can sell here for a million five. My taxes might be based on what I paid for the house, let's say 500,000, and go to a different county and pay the same price or less. And I get to move that tax base and it doesn't bump up to what it would be on a million five, but what I had on my house. Okay, so it's, they call that portability. Another portion of this, and, and the good news about that is it makes people able to move a little bit easier and seamlessly and not cost as much to make a move, which is healthy because it puts homes on the market. Secondly, when someone does pass away, it used to be the property base, property taxes would stay the same. In most cases now, it will not. And I'm making big generalizations, but probably the only ex exemption they have most in most cases is that if you're a direct sibling and you're the only one, you can often, if you move into the house and it was owner occupied by your parents, you can keep that tax base. You have to move in in a certain time frame. Okay? Otherwise, if your parents had a rental house and you take that on, most likely property tax is going to go up. Um, if you're not going to move into it, you're going to rent it out, property tax is going to go up. So my point is, if you're in that situation, like we're finding so many people who contact us in that situation, you want to look at all those factors, taxes, what happens, property taxes, when you're just considering whether should I sell mom and dad's house, should I rent it out, should we keep it and visit here and stay once in a while.